Let's uh, let's talk Unsolved Laser Mysteries, yeah? Indeed. Let's do it. Episode 3. October 22nd, 2.46 p.m. Walker attempts to run the laser again, but for some reason, the laser isn't firing. He tries to test fire it again and again, to no avail. What could be the problem? That was extremely quick. It was pretty quick. <laughs> um, so, if the laser is not firing, what are the things to check? Well, first, I would always check magnet sensor. So, the magnet is an interlock on your lid, so it's your lid sensor, and that will keep the laser from firing if it's not activated. This is a safety feature. Mm -hmm. And if you have a Muse Hobby laser, um, there's actually a little icon on the screen itself that'll tell you if it is registering the lid as being open. Or closed. Or closed, yeah. Either way. Yep. Yeah. The two ways it can be. I mean, it was like halfway. That'd be funny. <laughs> and useless. But if it's on or off and that doesn't reflect the state your lid is actually in, there might be a problem with your magnet sensor. There might be a pr problem with the magnet sensor or it could be unplugged. So one time... Well, I would, I would consider that an issue with your laser sensor. Yeah, I guess unplugged is a, is a major issue. You're right, Tim. <laughs> um, so one time I, I have a big, you know, 48 by 36 in my house and... Uh, Hashtag humble brag. <laughs> Hashtag humble brag. And I never really bring it all the way to the front. And one time I was just maxing this thing out. I was doing a whole tabletop. And uh, I'm like, it wasn't firing. And I was like, oh no, my tube went out. My tube. And I panicked. Uh, what actually happened was all the loose wires <coughs> that I didn't actually zip tie back together, it just unplugged the magnet sensor. So I panicked for no reason. And yeah, so it's just the magnet sensor. I mean, a job could be running and, you know, somebody opened the lid and that job, you know, you'll have to restart. Got to run it again. Got to run it again. You know, one time I was doing like this very long rest for like four hours and, you know, somebody comes up. Oh, this is neat. Mm -hmm. They look at it and they want to look at it closer and then, th nope, too late. and then they saw me just looking at them like. <laughs> Straight got caught, man. Oh. Embarrassing. So, magnet sensor, if your laser's not working, that is a good first check. Next, water chiller. <clears throat> so if your water chiller is not on, mine's on a separate uh, actual power strip. So a lot of times I go to run a job and it's not going. Again, I panic. Maybe my tube went out. But it's just the water chiller. It's not on. This actually happened to me the other day when I was running Marketing's 48 out on the floor. Mm -hmm. The laser wasn't firing and I couldn't figure out why. Mainly when that machine is on, all of its accessories are on. But we were, um, I think, taking pictures or... Also, no, we were running We were running RE3. We were trying to get some RE3 captures. So, so yeah, we, we didn't need it on. We, so we didn't want all that go, loud noise in the background. Yeah, so when I went to laser, it wasn't working. I was freaking out a little bit. Yeah, but and then he goes, fix. hey... What's wrong with the laser? And I'm like, oh, grab the laser expert. Is I literally know. anything on aside from the laser? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Nope. Let me go fix that. Water chiller. So, again, <laughs> if your laser is not firing, number two check is the water chiller. Mm -hmm. Next is your alignment. There we go. That was perfect. That was good. Alignment. So, always check your alignment. It could be so far off that it's not even going through your final lens and you think it's not firing, right? Um, and at this stage, <clears throat> if you think, you know, if it's not the lid sensor, if it's not the chiller, or you've eliminated them from that um, kind of workflow till that up and coming that point, then check alignment. And if you're not getting anything, go straight up to mirror one and do a test fire. That's the best way to do it. So, 
that way you check right outside the tube because your alignment could be so off it's not even hitting mirror one somehow you know these right. things get jostled um, and if it's not your alignment then you're going to talk significant um, you know possibilities it's going to be your power supply or PSU your power supply could be bad and not sending any signals to the actual tube so if you're not firing it possibly down your workflow of checks could be the power supply and always contact support when you are at this point because there are a handful of little things that you don't know they're a little bit more advanced that you just I mean, need to check same thing like we mentioned with the uh, magnet sensor maybe your power supply is okay but maybe there's a loose wire or something and you're just not getting that uh, power to the tube yes I mean, it, one time I had something disconnected from my power supply, and so the ground, I had a grounding issue. I didn't actually ground it to the machine. Power supply was just, you know, because I think I know too much, you know, like, oh, pff, throw it in there. And then I didn't ground it, I was having issues. So always check that. And then finally, if you have eliminated all these variables, it is going to be doom, 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 your tube. The laser tube itself these are consumables and they do go out so don't think you know I have the worst luck on planet earth who has a laser tube that goes out because it's bound to happen they only last so long it's like on the engine of a car the more you drive it the more it's getting closer to that time yeah yep, so. it's got gas in it that gas is consumable so eventually it's just gonna stop working Yes, it's compressed gas inside of glass. It's already amazing technology. Of course, like everything, it's impermanent. Um, John actually has a, John Dezel actually has a um, nice funny little story. He said that he hit the emergency stop button in the middle of a raster. But um, ingeniously, he switched the raster direction to bottom up and just stopped it when they uh, that's, left. That's good. That is good. I'm glad we have that option now. Yeah. I don't do much rastering, and I would have never thought about that unless I was probably in that situation. Mm -hmm. Good for you, John. That's awesome. Were you laser engraving pens or cases for pens, possibly, for Tim and I for Christmas? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who, Who knows? <laughs> oh, also my birthday. I, you guys will be here. It's going to be your birthday. Can't wait for a new pen. Um, <laughs> Let's just say hi to everybody on Facebook, Megan, um, and Kurt. Kurt. Gamer, so John and Jeanette. Of course, yeah. And Joy McAlvin. Oh, I didn't even see Joy. Hello, Joy. It's a joy having you. Um, so unsolved <laughs> I just. She's just never heard that before. Oh yeah, I know. It's like Walker, like Luke Skywalker. No. Like Texas Ranger. Like the Texas Ranger. No. Um, so original. Um, anyway, so if your laser tube is not firing and you are fairly confident that you've eliminated every variable uh, to your own knowledge, feel free to reach out to support. And that's it. Yep.